including me. Mercedes probably has a special tool for that, though. Yes, yes. You know how they are. Yes, they do. They actually do. Oh, they actually do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you watch uh, Legit Street. Yeah, Legit Street Cars, yeah. Yeah, he has done it, and he has a special tool for it. Mm. But I wasn't going to wait for a three-day <laughs> shipping for it. So I went for it. You see his wagon video? Shout out to Legit Street Cars, we watch you. Yeah. That supercharged, yeah. what is Super. it? It's what was uh, it, an E550? Yeah, E550, man, that guy is just, everything supercharged. Cut yeah, tag. yeah, it's <laughs> cattle. <laughs> supercharged. I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah. How are those motors? Well, we'll see. Mm. We'll experience with his, but uh, they seem to be holding up pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Cause I always notice whenever I see like um, BMWs versus Mercedes, uh -huh. I don't see as many like oil issues with Mercedes, like I do with certain. You're like 13 and back yeah. BMWs. You know they're gonna leak. It's yeah. or the bearings. Quality again. You quality. know what I mean? Yeah, because their tolerance, like let's say whenever they're meeting their services, their tolerance is like. You know, millimeters. Oh, okay. You know, very little. I mean, like, whenever, like, uh, like when you're putting together an uh, open for a Mercedes and you put together an open for a BMW, you're going to have to put more silicone on a BMW than you would on a, on a, Mercedes. On a Mercedes because okay. the Mercedes is very, I mean, it's very defined. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go put the bottom two. Okay. Yeah, as was, as I was looking, cause I you know I want like a high performance car like that, uh -huh. like a E63 or a C63, or even a C43, the V6, the V6 twin turbos right. versus the BMWs. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm like I don't see too many people having like that many oil issues with the Mercedes. Like, especially the, the newer ones. I know the B58 is yeah. legendary. It's right. really gaining a name for itself. But. Yeah, it has, it has, but if you compare the quality, the, the way it's done, uh -huh. I see this has better quality. They are more precise. Mm. Like what's the normal things that goes wrong that goes wrong with the Mercedes versus BMW? Mercedes has very stupid like O-rings that reek and, oh, yeah. and some of the O-rings are in a, like in a vary in a vary is between the V right? mm. and for you to get like like the G Street car the one yeah, we yeah. did right you yep. have to remove the whole motor to was do that V12 twin yeah. turbo V12 whatever? yeah yeah can you imagine just for because of an O-ring that will cost you probably less than five dollars do they do that now though like like 15 and newer I, I think they do uh, they do run from their mistakes okay and improve on that yeah, because I haven't seen anybody complain about it anymore yeah I see a lot of people whenever they mod them all they do is like uh a cat delete, especially right. on the twin turbos. They yeah. Just do a, yeah, cat delete. Yeah, cat delete and like a tune. And these these Mercedes are, you know, you add like another 100, 150 horsepower. Yeah, they're pretty good. And they seem to be pretty durable. Like, I'm like, what did they do different? Yeah. But I know with the Mercedes, it's all the sensors and yeah. crap that's going to go wrong. Actually, Mercedes is not as bad as. Again, BMW. BMW. <laughs> BMW quality has come was very low, unfortunate, but is it because somebody else is doing their stuff? I think they got a new they got a new bosses, new CEOs. Mm. You know, and of course nowadays everything is about money, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. As we see with Kia and Hyundai. Yeah, uh, well. Those have already seen. <laughs> That's a whole other subject. <laughs> yeah, out of the subject. Anyway, so I'm gonna put the cross one for the. Yeah, don't get these mixed up. This one with the point. Yeah. Sorry for touching you. This one with the point goes here because I damn sure wanted to put it over there. But right, right, yeah, yeah. And these are 14. That's a 17. Okay. That's a 14 too, which I need to tighten that one. 
Okay. Oh, so, go ahead. So with this one, you just have to see it goes through here. You just have to be adjust with the with the jerk, either down or up, depending on how far you are. Oh. Ah, it's going sideways. Oh, what was yeah. that? Yeah, it's part of the screwdriver. It's on the FL? Yeah. Oh. So we do on the front. So this one goes through. Yeah. Yeah, don't do this at home, guys. <laughs> I'll do it at home, but don't do it without a master mechanic. Do not try, <laughs> unless you are one, unless you are somebody like Peter. Right. But if you're just a run-of-the-mill <laughs> DIY type of guy, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, you just have to know, I mean, uh, it still can be done. Watch our video. Right. You can do it. Because <laughs> this, but with one person, would have been. Yeah, yeah. You have to have a friend helping you. It still can be done. Again, uh, I always do it. You know, if yeah. you're not here, I could have done it. Yeah. Too. <laughs> it just would have taken me wrong. <laughs> no. I'll be back tomorrow, Carl. I'm taking my <laughs> taking yeah. my break. Yeah. So. This is a computer, so I try not to crack it too much. Yeah, not to hit it or do anything close to it, because it's a computer. You know what scares me? Mm -hmm. It's like really weird to even say out loud. But every time I watch those detail videos, uh -huh. like the guys detailing the cars and right. they spray the engine, right. I don't, I don't know how the hell they get away with it. Like. They have so much confidence going to somebody's house and spraying their engine. I'm like, are they that sealed? Because they don't tape over, they don't tape up the alternator or nothing. They just foam the engine right. and they spray it off. And I'm like, what? I think uh, I don't want to speculate. Maybe they will tell us more. But the other day I was watching something and it made me think about this. The other day I was watching somebody paint. Oh, legit street car, the same okay. guy. Uh -huh. He was painting a bumper for his BMW, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy was using a deionizing machine. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing the soaps those guys use have a deionizing uh either formula Wait. in it or uh. something that keeps the water from boiling with things like the alternator or the sensors. Who knows? They have a secret. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they so never say. Guys, it. here with us, yeah. a secret. We yes. would like to form our own uh, <laughs> engine. <laughs> right? Because you have you ever done it? Have you ever even thought to do it? No, no. no. Right? No. If it's like, no, nah, uh -uh. I'll wipe it off a little bit or yeah. something like that, brush yeah. it off. But that's yeah. what they do. I said, what? No. Yeah. And again, you know, everybody has their own um, profession. Mm hmm. So probably they know something we don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Yeah, comment down below, guys. Probably that, or it's either that, or they don't they don't let the water sit there for so long. You know, they just spray and they just go in really quick and clean it up. Mm. You know, because the chances of you messing an alternator are very high. They're very high, very right? Very high. You know. I seen a dude do it to like an old. Like an older, like a bubble-eyed Mercedes Benz. And I was like, what is he doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's... I've seen them. I've seen them. They know something we don't know for sure, so... Mm -hmm. And that's their trade, you know? That's their secret trade. So we can't... It's just so risky because it makes your average kid want to go out there and be like, yeah, let me clean my engine. <laughs> just not filming. And then, because I did that years ago. Yeah. Year, when I first came to Texas, mm -hmm. I was working at Firestone. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. My dad gave me an old, I think it was like a 1985 Chevy Nova, but it was like a four door. Mm -hmm. I think it was like, it was the ugliest car. And it had a, that one actually was like carbureted. Oh. It was so, and I was like, yeah, let me clean the engine, da da da. And I destroyed it. <laughs> And ever put since then, water in the carburetor. I, yeah, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> I thought I was smart. I was like, yeah, I could just spray it. It's an engine. <laughs> nope. Nah. Again, they know something we don't. Probably they do that. They come behind and they wipe it really quick and 
blow with the air. Yeah. It just blow off. <sighs> uh, that that's how I would do it if I was to do it. But hey guys, share your secrets a little bit. You know, yeah, we wanna form do. our engines. <laughs> Make them real good, you know. Or come show us. Right? <laughs> come show us once. Because <laughs> the videos aren't doing it. Yeah. Just once. I call, I call my brother because that's our family business back home. <laughs> and I oh, asked him, yeah. and he says he doesn't do it like the videos. He said he'll like mist it on there uh-huh. and then he maybe spray it or whatever, but he doesn't like foam it and hit it with the pressure. Like, so I don't okay. know. Okay. But he never said anything about wrapping the alternator because he doesn't know an alternator from a spark plug. Like, he don't know nothing but about he, cars. But he cleans me. Yeah. Wow. But he details. You know the other thing I saw the other day, dry ice. Yeah, what was seen it? Dry ice Wait, cleaning. He, he cleaned the um he cleaned his interior Who? of the BMW with it, right? Who? Um, legit street cars. Oh, was he? Yeah, didn't no. he clean the whole engine with the? No, I've with seen, the dry ice. Well, I haven't seen his, but I saw. Oh. I saw clips on with dry ice. You mm. know? And it's pretty clean. I mean, yeah. they, they heat the service and it's yeah. sparkling clean. Uh, those machines are very expensive. Now. Yeah. I forgot who, I want to say it was legit. Because mm-hmm. it cleaned the whole engine bay with the dry ice. And then there was like dirt caked up in the, in the, um, on the floor and he sprayed around that. Yeah. But it was really cool because he was like, I can only buy 30 pounds. So he had the dry ice and they scooped it in the machine. Yes, yes. And then he sprayed ice. it. I was like, yeah. damn. Yeah, it cleans pretty good. Yeah. That, that will not leave any residue. Nothing. If, if it does, it will just melt. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that would be very cool. Maybe that's a good business idea right there. Hey, you should pay for these guys. You need to pay for Listen, these. Peter, if you'll do it, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll buy the machine. And it's so easy. It's just ice. Yeah, I think it's probably the, the, the way of the future. Yeah. But then the price of dry ice will go up then. Yeah. How do you even make dry ice? It's a chemical or something? <sighs> You're the I'm scientist. Not very sure. I'm not very sure, but I know it's something easy. It's not... Not, uh, oh, I should have got some coolant for the Kia. Yes. I'm running out. So we on the last motor mount. Last motor mount. So this one has a, the, the most difficult part with this one. It has a one on the bottom. I don't know if you can, let me show you on this. Okay. So you have this on the bottom and it goes on the middle through. It has a bolt on the bottom. So you have to go on the bottom and get that bolt, get this, which is this, this, which is this, and the 14s. Other than that, it should not be that of a big uh, issue. How are you gonna get that bolt? You go on the bottom, you go from the bottom. With like a With the extensions. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. From the bottom with the extensions and, but my dick is a 14, if I'm not wrong. So, so I'm gonna go do, you see my extension coming through here. Okay. Yeah. You got three of them? So you go from under the car and up. Damn it. One more? Let me see if we got one. Do you want me to guide it or? Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> Find it. Oh, yeah, right there. Ah, there you go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a 14. Is uh, extensions. Yeah, 
There you go. Hopefully we don't lose the nut. Yeah. You wanna, if you bring it down slowly, I should be able to take it off the top. All right. Yeah. You got it? Yep, yeah, keep going. Oh. Uh, all right, I, I got it. You got it? Yeah. You sure? It's just gonna go through the same way. Oh, my bad. We're going to guide it or? Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> No, no. That's not it? it? Is. No. Let me see if, where I can even find it. Oh, yeah, right there. Ah, there you go. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're good. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a 14. It's a 16. Yeah. Yeah. If you bring it down slowly, I should be able to take it off the top. All right. Yeah. Got it? Yep, yeah, keep going. Oh. Uh, all right, I, I got it. You got it? Yeah. You sure? It's just gonna go through the same way. Oh, my bad. Oh, not there. So I have my, the engine supported from the bottom. These are 17s. We have 17 issues.